Hi everyone, this is Bethany, Beauty Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share some cards that I made yesterday. I made this Halloween card, and it is a standard size greeting card, and I used the Phantom Paper from Pink Paisley by House of Three. And then, um, that was this paper and this paper. I used some plain purple cardstock for the background. And then I also used some uh, buttons that are spiders uh, from Joann's in their Halloween section. And then I used this border punch uh, from EK Success, the spider webs. And what I did was is I had a strip of paper this big and then I punched it on this side and then I also punched it on this side and then I put the pattern paper in the middle. And then I also used some of my doodle bug twine. That's uh, the Halloween kind. It's black, uh, white, and orange. And then I also stamped down here in white, Happy Halloween. And this is from uh, Impress Rubber Stamps. And then I took a white gel pen and did the little lines to show that the little spiders were coming down and I was inspired to do that uh, by Prairie Paper and Ink, one of her cards that she was making. She used a spider brad and then three little black brads to make it look like the spider was dangling. I thought that was cute. If I were going to do that again, I would probably ruler it so that the lines were straight, not crooked. It looks like the wind is blowing a little bit. But um, And then I edged with a silver ink pad. So that's that card, and then the inside looks like this, with the same pattern papers that I used to do this. I did the inside, and then I used some confetti cardstock to stamp a sentiment, and then to uh, write a message. And I thought I had a lot more Halloween sentiments than what I really do, so I might have to invest in some of those. And then I also made this other card, this other Halloween card. And for this one I used, I think it's called the Ghost and Goblins uh, mat stack from Die Cuts with a View. I got it at Joann's. And I like that stack a lot because half of it is like cutesy paper, cutesy Halloween paper. And then the other half is kind of more grown up Halloween paper. kind of goes with the Phantom Collection. So it's really nice. You can have lots of different options. I used this ribbon. And I don't know if you can tell because it's super sparkly, but they are uh, uh, spider webs in silver glitter. And then I used those same spiders, just the tiny ones. And that's where all the paper came from. This was a dollar stamp that I got, I think, last year in the Michael's Dollar Bin. And then this is a CC Designs Sugar Plums, and she's a butterfly. And this is actually supposed to be, you know, it was with the spring release, but I thought that it looked so cute for a Halloween costume. And then I, I colored it with my colored pencils and Gamsol. And then I made her wings glittery, and also the little on her antenna glittery. And then uh, I made her shoes shiny with glossy accents. And then on the inside, I used the same pattern papers that I used on the front. And then stamped the Happy Halloween. And I think it turned out really cute. So those are the two cards that I made yesterday. I probably won't make any cards today, which is sad because I need to do my homework and I don't want to. But um, those are my two cards. And yesterday was uh, National Card Making Day. And I didn't even know it. So uh, those are my two cards. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.